Oh my gosh. A barn find. I guess you can say that since it's been parked in my barn for the last seven years. This right here is a 61 Skylark that my wife and I purchased well, about seven years ago. And uh, it's a really, really cool car. This is a compact Buick. They only made them from 61 through 63. And this one has the all aluminum 215 V8 high compression four barrel. It's a pretty cool little setup. It's a pretty peppy car actually. But what really makes this one special is it was built really, really, really early in the model year. So in 1960 it would have been built. And it does not have power steering, no power brakes, no air conditioning. It doesn't even have a windshield washer assembly set up on it, which most of these cars did that I've seen it at, uh, at car shows, and really I never really see 61s. I end up seeing a 62 or a 63. This car here was geared more towards the performance era. Uh, drag strip, drag racing was, was really hot, late 50s and early 60s, and the market was trying to decide, okay, which way do we want to go? So this car here was built as a demo model. It would have been put on display at certain events just to try to get some public feedback. Some of the cool items on this car, uh, not only does it have that aluminum V8, but it has a, uh, it was state of the art at the time, a uh, dual path transmission, not a Dynaflow. A lot of people call these Dynaflows or Power Glides. This is a dual path and it's a 61 through 63 specific transmission and uh, the rear end specific for these cars too, 61 through 63. Very hard to find parts for and when you do, they're expensive. They're not cheap. So luckily this car is all intact. Hopefully I won't need to uh, be out there digging around for parts too much on this. Uh, this car is pretty cool because I said it was a demo model. The other thing I noticed was it has blocks in the front coil springs to lift the nose up a little bit higher, which was a popular drag racing trick. It also had the cowl drilled. At one point, this had a mechanical fuel pressure gauge mounted on the cowl. So uh, the people that owned it before me or the people before them um, did a little bit of uh, drag strip testing, if you will, with this car. Probably had a little bit of fun with it. The rear wheel wells are notched because the prior owner had put bigger tires on it and needed a little bit more room, so he notched them. I'm going to try to dress that area up back there to make it look as stock as possible. And we're going to go from there. I just wanted to share this with everybody. I will be uh, doing the fundamental stuff to this to try to get it back on the road like I did with the Chevelle. Um, it will need the carburetor rebuilt, which I already have pulled that off, and it'll need the fuel tank drained. I'm going to go through all the brake lines, make sure everything works, and uh, everything is up to snuff because I will be cruising this thing and then decide what we're going to do with it after that. It would be great to finish the car, paint it, do all that stuff, but uh, I'm not sure if I'll get around to it. I will just get it on the road, drive it a bit, enjoy it a little bit, a little while, and uh, see where we go from there. Just wanted to share this with everybody. Uh, this will be uh, the next project for uh, Speed Freak Performance Nostalgia Motorsports. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.